Okay, um, we're going to build a responsive website uh, using the Muse. Um, so this is what we're going to have. So this is a kind of a, it's a hypothetical website. I just made it really quick uh, using one uh, redwood, the huge background image, and then I only have four different menus. So we can jump, we can navigate through. Okay. And then, so this is a kind of a desktop computer version uh, or the laptop. And then what's going to happen is once the width of this website web page hits certain point, certain pixel dimension, it will turn to responsive website for the mobile version like this. So same menus about events gallery contact we can collapse we can reveal and this button uh, is not the uh, the official name but it's known as the hamburger button so we're going to build the hamburger button and then uh, um, we're going to make that kind of really simple website responsive website corresponding to um, uh, different ratio different proportion on different device so let's get started uh, first we're gonna need to have a hamburger button like this so what I did uh, let me just delete it I just made a um, new document in Illustrator and then uh, the dimension I used was 100 pixel by 100 pixel make sure you're using the pixel uh, not inches it's a humongous so um, make sure pixel 100 pixel by 100 pixel created and then uh, I just used this a rounded uh, rectangle tool um, fill color let's try a maybe different one this time uh, white I uh, no, not white let's do the same thing sorry it's red and no stroke color And then I'm going to place my mouse cursor in the center, hold down the option and drag it like that. So this is the one option, drag to the top, another one. And I'm going to keep the same distance using the aligning tool. Uh, let me keep the same distance. Uh, okay, so it's right. okay so this is a hamburger button we're going to use so uh, we're going to export it for web or the shortcut command option shift s since we're going to have some kind of background images I'm going to save as a pink 24 by keeping the transparency, transparent background. Save it. Um, let me make a um, the new folder on my desktop. Redwood. And I'm going to name this button as a hamburger. PNG okay now next thing is I'm gonna need to have my background image um, let me just Google Google let me find redwood images um, I'm gonna use a different one this time uh, I'm gonna need something large. Okay, I like this. Your image. 
save image as um, in my Redwood website, I mean the folder, uh, I will name as Redwood .jpg. So that's good. So um, let's open new new site. I'm not gonna change anything. We're gonna need to have maybe um I don't know four or five different pages. Let's do five. So home about what's next? Gallery, no events. Gallery and the last content. Okay. Let me open a master. I'm going to import uh, my background image first. So a browser fill. Let me import um, from my Redwood Redwood JPEG. And when scared to fill, let me center it. Okay. So which is okay now. Now since we have four different menus, I'm going to have open my widgets library and menus horizontal. Okay. Which is okay. I'm going to center it. Let me make it a little bit wider. Aligning. Uh, center. Um, <clears throat> so okay, uh, I want to change the um, um, original color, the background color of my button. So let me select the so first click. It will select your entire menu bar. Second click will take the, uh, your one button, in my, in my case, home button. Let me open states. Normal color background, normal stage background color is gray. Uh, I want to change it to black so I can see it clearly. Okay, so home, about events, gallery, and contact. Uh, let me test, let me preview it. Command option E, preview the site. About events, gallery, contact. Let me close that. So it looks okay now. Now let me go back to my muse. Okay. Um, next thing is, as a fluid with uh, settings, you can see that kind of a three uh, hundred twenty pixel width in the middle. Uh, that's the dimension for the uh, the uh, kind of uh, the preset for the uh, smartphone, uh, like a mobile device. So what we're gonna do is. I'm going to move uh, this uh, bar from the right to the center until it hits 320 pixel right there. So um, uh, my menu bar, home about events, gallery, and contact, it starts kind of overlapping and then it's kind of hard to read it. So I'm going to click on this um, breakpoint um, check mark, the plus. So on the plan is once my web browser width hits 320 pixel width dimension, then this menu bar will be gone. Object hiding breakpoint. So it will be hidden. Instead of that, we're going to need to have new menu bar, kind of drop down menu things using that uh, hamburger button things. So on that point, open the widgets library uh, under panels, choose the accordion, drag and drop. Okay, we're not going to need uh, all these three things. There are three kind of tab things. So let me delete the bottom one and the middle one. We're only gonna need to have the uh, only one uh, can I call you unfolding. And then I don't need to have the text. So let me get rid of it. 
I don't need that. And also, by holding down the control key, uh, let me clear all styling. The top one too. Clear all styling. So I have the, just a blank. And let me select. Okay, this entire thing, I don't want to have this uh, gray stroke either. So let me set to none, nothing. And forward. So once you click, you can see that. Oh, sorry. There's a one thing I missed. Select your the entire the accordion um, uh, the panels and click on this blue icon. Check this too. Can close all overlap items below. And what's going to happen is once you click, you can collapse. You can reveal the content area. We have nothing yet. So first the thing is, let me select. So this is all about the other clicking and the selection. One click will select your entire panel. Second click in the top area will select this area only. And then as I'm selecting this top, let me click on the fill, add image, hamburger button, open, and scale to fit in the middle. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. A little more. Yeah. It's good. Okay. Now you can see that uh, that invisible uh, area is kind of collapsed and I can reveal it. And then in the menus, you're in the widgets library, choose the vertical, drag and drop your menu bar, the vertical menu bar into that area. Now you can see that. And let me select my menu bar again. Uh, expand it. So you can fill the entire width, 320 pixels. In order to keep the consistencies, uh, I want to change the, uh, the background color of my button uh, in normal state. So uh, this is gray. Let me change it to black. And also, I want to change the opacity value a little bit so I can see through it. I think that looks cooler. Okay, so this will happen. Okay, another thing is <clears throat> this menu bar is not supposed to uh, be presented uh, once it, the, your web browser width is wider than 320 pixels. So I'm selecting my entire panel, go to object menu, uh, hide in other breakpoints, meaning once it goes over beyond 320 pixels, this will be gone and my original menu bar will come back. Vice versa. So this should happen like this. Okay. So let's preview it. Command Option E. I'm going to make my web browser a little bit uh, larger. Uh, this is the original. So command plus plus. So this is what we're going to see. Once I reduce my uh, window uh, web browser's window size and once it hits 320 pixel, we're getting close. So this must happen like this. We can collapse. You can go back home, about page, events, like this, and back home. Okay, so this is it, kind of basic our responsive website using the hamburger button.